And now for another chapter in a continuing saga of the cat thief. Or thieves, I should say. I might be, um, repeating myself. Some of them might be redundant. I don't care. Um, last two days now, he's come, he's taken the cat home at night. Brought her back during the day and come get her at night. I was out there at 10 30 at night about to go back to work. And the dude comes in and he's like, I'm just going to scoop up this cat and take her home for a night. There's a little cat bed out there in the corner of our house in the flower bed. You know, he came back today. He said that he took her home and she was all sprawled out by the heater and she was enjoying it. We don't talk about my sister in law. I tried to take the cat indoors and you know she was okay at first but didn't want to be there I mentioned you know about Cocker Spaniel it's about I want to say 11 or 12 years old now so they got along they seem to get along out they get along fine outside and they got along at first but then the cat freaked out didn't want to be in there but anyway I ran into my sister at work last night when I went there going to midnight to mop the steps and she was telling about how he renamed the cat Otis and was trying to tell her it was a dude. I mean that freaking stupid you can't tell the difference between a male and a female animal. I you just pick him up and look at the part. She you know she said she told him that she paid to have a, a spade. Anyway getting back to the other cat, Bear Bear two years in January that this cat has been gone and I know who took it because again I discussed this lady with my sister-in-law last night she mentioned how the lady would come over and just throw piles of food cat food and just random leftovers and half-eaten pieces of Mexican food on the ground and not uh, cats wouldn't touch it you know what happened my dogs would come out and eat it when I'm taking them out to use the bathroom anyway that lady took that cat I'm pretty sure she took Bear Bear the other cat if I had a photo here, I'd show you. Uh, I don't have my phone. I'll just angle this right there. Ow! Say hi. That's blue. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm back. Hope you enjoyed your talk amongst yourselves. Alright. But anyway, I don't understand why people will just steal other people's cats. And then they leave all the strays roaming around. There's a stray cat here, a white cat. It's half Siamese. It keeps popping out kittens. Oh crap. My yeah, this thing's had it. The screen's cracked. It's been chewed up by the dog. It's been through heck. I can't. Anyway. I have a picture somewhere. I have several pictures of this cat. I wish I could show it to you. I should. I stopped using Facebook, but I should get back on there and start like a uh, crime report group for this town and post pictures and tell it. You know, I should have did something back when I saw the cat in that house. She was meowing at me for help in the window on two different occasions when I was going for a walk with a dog. I let it go like a fool instead of going and knocking on the door. I wish. I wish I would have done something about it go knock on the door and say, excuse me, that's not your cat. You know, life is all about having regrets. I do hope that they have taken good care of Bear Bear. Because she is a sweet cat. That's another one of you know, she's been spayed. So they can't blame my sister-in-law for all the stray cats in the neighborhood. Because these two cats were spayed. We also discussed the possibility of getting a gate for a driveway here so he can't come on the property. Nothing against the guy. He seems like a nice guy when he talks to me. Okay? I don't have a problem with him. I just, and he did return the cat. Just giving her a part time, nighttime home in the winter. He said, We're going to talk to her about putting the cat indoors at night because I can't keep coming over doing this. Well, then don't do it, bud. The cat's 10 years old. She's lived outdoors her whole life. Her entire life. She sleeps in the garage. 
sleeps in the flower bag. She stays warm. She had a cuddle buddy, her daughter. Somebody stole her. Product placement. I don't really eat at McDonald's. We stopped her for breakfast today. I'll do another video about that shortly. I don't have to tell you this. No, I'm a fellow cook, but I don't have to tell you this, but uh, there's a wee bit of rum in here. Anyway, that's that. And just things just, mm, they don't bother me once in a while. They just eat away at me because I can't take it when people do crap like this. Mind your own business and don't decide for someone else that their cat is suffering when it is not. The cat is 10 years old. She's taking good care of it. She takes it to the vet, she feeds her. The only reason the cat's lonely is because somebody over there, maybe, I don't know if this woman is your wife, uh, stole the other cat. And the strays come around and beat her up. So there, there you have it. I have to go use the uh, toy eater right now. Blue, the toilet, the potty, the baby. So that's that. I'm I'm gonna do another rant. I'm gonna do maybe two more videos because I find that YouTube is uh, designed for teens, and tweens, and uh, grade schoolers with short attention spans, and nobody watches your videos if they're more than two minutes long. Later.